Okay, I'm Mark with Toyota Sale Productions and this is the dash of our 2015 Toyota 4Runner. Starting in the middle here we have the DMH 2660 NEX. This is the one of the cheaper CarPlay head units from Pioneer. This allows me to both have my camera system. So there's my rear camera and there's my front camera. This button here allows you to quickly switch between whatever else after a few seconds of doing whatever it else you need. If you don't touch the screen at all, it'll go back to the video feed. If we take a look at this, we've got CarPlay here. CarPlay is running off of my iPhone up here. I've got Gaia running here and Google Maps running here. This is one of the big advantages of running uh, a mount for your phone and running a GPS app on your Apple CarPlay. You get to have each of them running at the same time. Now I actually do usually run Waze for in-town or road driving and I use Gaia GPS for off-road. With this particular head unit you get the CarPlay, you get um, the output, but you do not get the Bluetooth CarPlay. That's one of the things that I did sacrifice. Really the things that I use the most on here are going to be Waze, phone, my text messages which come across as audio only, Google Maps, and Gaia GPS. And one of the things that I really love about this is it has this auto dim feature. So if I'm running my headlights and I want to see this brighter, like let's say I'm running my headlights during a rainstorm or something but this isn't going to affect me, I can go ahead and turn this up right here. This particular head unit also has car features, which allows you to plug in an OBD interface such as the Maestro RR. So I actually have the Maestro RR2, so I can get to my car features here. For instance, I've got these gauges set up. I can also pull up the information on the TPMS. So right now I have it cycling between temperature and pressure, and then I can also see my voltage. My steering wheel controls are run through the Maestro RR2. On the steering wheel controls, I have it set up so that I can quickly pull up my tire pressures. And then on the other side, I have this button, this back button programmed to give me my gauges. These are programmable through the Weblink Maestro app. So you can see I have my Maestro RR2 here. It's connecting up. And this connects via Bluetooth to the Maestro unit, which is just behind here. I can flash it, update the firmware, change the steering wheel controls, whatever I need. Now one of the things this does not have is it does not have your transmission or your torque converter temperatures. So that is a failing of this compared to what I had before which was uh, just an OBD Bluetooth sensor, Bluetooth interface plugged in. On the LabOps Gear 4Runner dash mount kit, comes with four quarter 20 mounts, and I'm using two of them right now. I've got ram mount uh, balls mounted into these two over here, a uh, high amperage output USB, which I keep covered just to just keep stuff out of it. This little thing you see here is an LED light. That's for my uh, alarm system. It does light up the dash pretty well so that people know that the two-way alarm system is engaged. And finally, I've got here the FTM 100DR. This is my uh, ham radio, VHF, and UHF. I've got the mount, the uh, mic mounted right here because the interface for most of the dial is right here on the mic. Um, I will say of this little head unit, I don't like the fact that my polarized sunglasses don't allow me to see this screen without tilting my head sideways slightly. That's not a problem with the newer colored screens, it just happens to be a problem with this head unit here. And that's it. Oh, one other thing. These right here are dash lights that I use to illuminate the area down below. That area is um, really dark because dark interior 2015 Forerunner and I really wanted to be able to see stuff down here without distracting from my vision while driving. So these are red Osmium LED lights, uh, side bolts, and uh, yeah, they work really well. 
If you guys have any questions or comments or want to know anything more about this setup, feel free to leave comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if, uh, if not, well, give it a thumbs down. Let me know why. I'm trying to make this for you guys.